Hi, welcome to TechCrunch TV. I'm Sarah Lacey, and my guest is Tony Zingali, who is the CEO of Jive Software. Now, you guys have some news today. You've commissioned a survey of about 500 of your customers to figure out what is the value of you know this whole social media in the enterprise, enterprise 2.0, you know, buzz thing we've been hearing about. And I, I assume since you're here in this chair, you have found some value. <laughs> <laughs> we found a tremendous amount of value. One of, the, one of the big questions we get asked all the time is, yes, I know I need to do social business or social networking or social media, pick your term, in the enterprise. I got to believe it's the new way to get work done, building communities and collaborating with them. The use of your platform is broad and deep, and it does all these great, wonderful things. But at the end of the day, What's the real value? When I go ask my boss, the CIO or the CMO, for seven or eight figures worth of investment into this platform, that's going to touch everybody, mm -hmm. right? Social only works if it touches everybody in the enterprise. And you know, what's the value? What's the return I'm going to see in sales enablement or employee retention or call deflection in the customer service realm? And we're very excited. We surveyed 8,000 mm -hmm. uh, people. We got 600 responses in less than three days. Wow. Um, and we were thrilled. That's like 6.5%, which is ridiculous for a survey. <laughs> You're lucky if you get a percent or two uh -huh. over a long period of time. So we got an immediate response. And, and the data and the, res and the results were deafening in terms of 30, 40% in all those different categories that I described in terms of productivity increases, which leads to cost savings, which leads to you know, increased in, in productivity and innovation, as well as revenue increase ultimately mm -hmm. in the enterprise. So we're thrilled to finally be able to tell our clients, here's the real value. Not from us, right. but from our clients, and not from one or two. Right. How about like 600 respondents? But these are still your clients. I mean, as part of this, they paid for this, and they want to believe there's some value there. I mean, right. how, why should we all believe this? Well, because there's more than one or two data points. Number one, we did not conduct the survey. We, we paid a third party to construct the question questions mm -hmm. and ask the clients. And look, I think our clients are motivated to tell to their bitch. story. <laughs> it's a bitch for sure. But to tell their story about the positive aspects that they've seen. Look, this is this is the new way to business. This this is new. This is different. This isn't your traditional, let's implement the CRM system. Let's implement the, you know, the, the ERP thing again or email. Um, this, is, th th this is something really new. And there's a lot of question marks around what's the real value. A lot of, there's, most of the questions fall into two categories. Stuff happening inside the company and stuff happening you know, externally with right. brand, with customers. Um, I'm much more convinced on the value of stuff happening inside the company. I mean, I think the one thing that would jump out to anyone who's worked in a large organization is 27% less email. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a good one, right? <laughs> you know, well, that's yeah. like better than Google priority that's inbox. Right. Like that's we right. all just get so much email and that's it's correct. such a problem. Right. And I mean, that's, you know, a big benefit that, you know, we've seen in house with Yammer, the Y world word. Um, <laughs> You know, I think, uh, you know, definitely 28% decrease in call support volume. That's another tangible. But when it gets to things like 42% more communication with customers, what does that mean? I mean, right. everyone's communicating with customers more, and they don't need Jive to do that. They're doing it over Facebook. They're doing it over Twitter. You know, we had this awful story on TechCrunch last week about this AT&T person who was calling all of uh, all of their customers morons because they were complaining so much about the iPhone on AT&T. Right. I mean, a horrible way to be communicating with customers. So how do we know that's a good thing and that's really doing any good? Well, the bottom line is those companies really aren't communicating with their customers. They are listening to their customers out on the social web, you know, on Twitter, on Facebook fan pages or whatever, and they think they're communicating. They're not building communities. They're not collaborative in the community with the customers. The customers aren't sharing with one another other than to get more tweets and to get more posts in the activity stream on the Facebook fan pages. That's not it. Mm -hmm. It's not about Facebook or Twitter and the enterprise. It's about constructing these real communities that are bi-directional, which is the unique value in Jive that you're not realizing from, from the, the current vendor you're using. <laughs> it's the bi-directional nature of going inside and outside the enterprise. Yeah, you're right. The productivity gains inside the enterprise to, to collaborate and not just use email or not use these ancient you know, enterprise software systems, but to collaborate in communities, well known and well, well understood. And now with this survey, some real facts and figures around it. When you extend the product marketing staff, the service staff, the selling staff into those vibrant customer communities who are out there tweeting and blogging 
anyway, as you well know, mm -hmm. but now reside in that same community with them and respond directly mm -hmm. to those questions. Respond directly to, to those questions in a constructive fashion. Hey, you like the iPhone 4 on, you know, or you hate it on Verizon. Why? What can we do about that? And now you have other customers you know, responding right in that same community, either in a protected way or a private way or in a secure way, right. that rather than just out there, you know, on the airways, and you move them from this one way, my view, communication, which is let me tweet to everybody how I don't like the iPhone 4 on Verizon, rather than get in the Verizon community and talk about and get some real satisfaction. Where I get skeptical is, I mean, billions and billions and billions have been invested in better customer communication software over the last, you know, 10, 20, 30 years. And none of it has made the experience of being a customer better. Right. And at some point, that's not the fault of the technology. It's not the fault of the software. It's the fault of the company who doesn't really want to listen or make any changes. Yes. I mean, you know, we have this all the time with like Comcast cares. I've had Comcast issues. Comcast doesn't care. They didn't resolve them. I had a major issue right. with Sprint. You know, right. I tweeted about it. Some Someone from you know Sprint PR was like, we're getting on this. Email me the problem. I emailed. They said well, someone will get back to you in 48 hours. No one got back to me in 48 hours. I mean, at the end of the day, I just don't think companies, few, very few companies, I should say, really care to put in the effort right. to make customers happy. So now you have a great community, and people come in there and they say their problems, and someone comes in and gives them lip service, but. Like, I guess I just am cynical that this will actually lead to better service when nothing else has. Well, so the systems actually have improved. If you call Dell or Apple or whatever, or submit a trouble ticket mm -hmm. via their system, they know who you are, right? They know what's happened. Are they responsive about it? Are they proactive about it? No. So what's gone on now with, with, community, with, with communities is, is that rather than just rely solely on the company for a technical problem or a question or concern. By the way, root around on some of these companies' websites and try to find a phone number. Good luck, right? Yeah. Right, good luck, right? So, but now build a vibrant customer community where, where you're in there with all your peers, mm -hmm. right? And now together as a group, you can either resolve your issues or, or understand that, look, that's not gonna change or that is gonna change or here's how you get around it or here's the person to but call. isn't it the job of the company to fix our problems? Ultimately it is, but you, I think you gotta give the companies the benefit of the doubt here. They are coming around. Final question, I mean, we have all these percentages of things that are going sure. up and going down and are, are staggering from the survey, but can you say to go off walk in and say to a company now you spend you know eight figures with me you will you will make that up in the next x months is it is it that clear the roi of jive uh, it's that clear it's that clear that over maybe it's not in n months but over a period of time once the community is constructed to 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 embrace the business process that that you in fact you're going to measure this return against we have evidence now with the survey and even before the survey, either for revenue generation, the speed of innovation, or decreasing costs as it relates to more productive workforce, absolutely the savings is real, it's mm -hmm. tangible, and we have many, many clients that will stand by. The return on their Jive investment has uh, produced those kinds of results. So absolutely. how long? How long does it take for someone to recoup the investment? Six months to a year. I mean, six months to a year, which is which is you know pretty fast to mm -hmm. recoup the investment in a eight-figure opportunity. In a six-figure opportunity, it is months. By the way, with, with a Jive system, the org chart's dead. Mm -hmm. That's not what it's about anymore. It's about finding the experts with the information and, and getting your job done faster. So 37% more employee retention, kind of a soft one, right, mm -hmm. to, to your point, mm -hmm. but big in right. the scheme of things. In a 100,000-person company, that's a big deal. 83% of the people who answered said Jive was deployed company-wide. That is also almost impossible for me to believe. And every company I know that's adopted these technologies, there's a lot of holdouts who do not want to be on them. Right, right. So, you know, I would love that, and certainly we need to raise our prices if, if that's the case. But, <laughs> but, but of the 600 respond respondents, there were 300 unique companies. We got multiple respondents from, from, uh, from uh, single companies. Um, but remember, we have 3,000 clients. So, and we have a lot of them, a number of them, so sounds like, you know, 83% of right. 300 uh, that in fact have it deployed company-wide and that doesn't shock me. Mm -hmm. That doesn't shock me. Hmm. There aren't people who see these things as a threat. I mean, you're talking about smashing the org chart. There's a lot of people who've spent their careers climbing up that org mm -hmm. chart. They want the org chart smashed? Right. Uh, it, it doesn't matter if they do or don't because <laughs> it's going to happen.
It's going, employees have a voice, clearly. Customers have a voice, as we've been talking about, right? Mm -hmm. They have a loud voice. And now with the advent of social in our consumer lives, in our personal lives, now invading the workplace, finally, thank God, right, that it's finally these types of technologies and innovations pioneered by the Facebooks and Twitters of the world now find their, their way into the enterprise in the proper manner, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, whether they don't want the org chart to die or not, tough. It's going to happen. <laughs>